One pillar of the industry is selling the idea that, with a little exercise, you can look like Dwayne The Rock Johnson too. Achieving that look requires losing fat and gaining muscle. One phrase you might therefore come across on the internet regarding getting ripped is how to turn your fat into muscle. However, this transformation is a lie. Period. Firstly, fats and muscles are two very different things. Chemical fats, also known as lipids, are a building block of your body, and there are many different types of lipids. Some form the border of your cell, while others are messenger chemicals, such as hormones. Your body synthesizes vitamin D from a cholesterol molecule, which is essentially a fat. Chemical fat is also an energy source and is stored in your body. The type of fat we store for energy is called a triglyceride, molecules composed of chains of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Muscles are made primarily of protein, and proteins are made from a string of amino acids. Amino acids, in turn, are composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, though some also have a sulfur molecule. How the body interacts with these two chemicals is different, and their uses are different as well. Triglycerides are mainly used for energy, while the bulk of proteins are used in muscles and as part of little molecular machines called enzymes, which help carry out chemical reactions in the body. Under normal conditions, you fulfill your protein needs from your diet. Your body can't make certain amino acids, so you get them from the foods you eat. Therefore, your body doesn't regularly need to convert fat into a large amount of amino acids. Fats and muscles are also different tissues. Tissues in biological terms are groups of cells that all have the same function and a similar structure. Muscle tissues are composed of a type of cell called myocytes, or more simply, muscle cells. These muscle cells appear as long fibers when you look at the whole muscle tissue. Fat tissue, or white adipose tissue, is made of adipose cells or fat cells. Adipose tissue is found just under the skin as subcutaneous fat, surrounding organs as visceral fat, and inside your bones. The fat tissue most mm -hmm. people wish to lose is subcutaneous fat, since that's what may appear as chubby areas on the body. The fat cells store fats, mainly triglycerides. On that note, which part of your body refuses to give up its fat no matter how much you exercise? Tell us in the comments below. Converting adipose tissue into muscle tissue is impossible, as it would mean converting one type of cell into another, and, at least in adult humans, this is impossible. Imagine trying to convert a banana into a tomato based on the logic that they're both fruits. The cells of the muscles and the cells of adipose tissue are what scientists call terminally differentiated. Differentiation is a process by which a cell chooses a role in the body, like you might choose a career. Once cells make this choice, they can no longer revert to their undifferentiated stage. Once a muscle cell, always a muscle cell. Although you can't directly convert fats to muscles, what? you can burn fat while simultaneously gaining muscle. <laughs> Burning fat essentially requires you to burn more calories than you consume. Your body's main source of calories are carbohydrates, such as glucose, and fats, such as triglycerides. Just after a meal, your body will use glucose, but between meals, when your blood sugar levels are low, your body will switch to burning fat. If you add exercise to this, which requires your muscles to use extra energy, you end up burning more calories. A trained health specialist will be able to suggest a diet and exercise regimen that is suited to your specific health and fitness needs. To gain muscle, you need two things, higher protein levels in your diet, and exercise. The muscles contain long, rope-like filaments of proteins called actin and myosin, the primary machinery that makes muscles contract. Adding protein to your diet supplies the body with the building blocks it needs to build new muscle. However, to build new muscle, you need to exercise. Muscles like biceps, triceps, and abdominals are skeletal muscles. These muscles, like any other tissue when pulled, stretched, and worked to the extreme, will get injured. This damage to the muscles is repaired by special cells located in the muscle, called satellite cells. These cells are muscle stem cells that help repair and remodel muscles. They also increase the size of the muscle, a process called muscle hypertrophy. That being said, muscle size is dependent on both your genes and your sex. Testosterone, found in higher quantities in males than in females, promotes muscle growth which is why so many athletes and bodybuilders take steroid supplements. To wrap up, 
You can't convert fat to muscle or vice versa, because you can't change one tissue type into another. Furthermore, you can't gain as much muscle as the fat you lost, because these processes, once again, are not directly linked. Consistent exercising and managing your diet can aid in both of these processes. You'll have those abs you've always desired in no time at all. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Your feedback not only supports us, but also helps our channel reach more viewers and continue to grow.